that the UK election approaches, why aren't women tweeting their political views as often as men are? When Harriet Harman launched Labour's pig battle bus too much ridicule on social media, she told the BBC that over 9 million women didn't vote at the last general election in 2010, because they just don't think that politicians have any interest in their lives. This time around, all the political parties say they want to reach out to women. But analysis of Twitter activity by BBC Trending appears to show that women are still very much a minority in the political chatter there. The parties are all trying to reach out to female internet users. Live chats on parenting gaps like women's net have become a well-trodden part of the online campaign trail. In the last month alone Harriet Harman, the Liberal Democrat Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg, the Conservative Housing Minister Brandon Lewis and Green Leader Natalie Bennett have taken part. But it is Twitter, with its 15 million users in the UK, that seems to shape the online political debate more than any other platform. When we looked at the main parties' Twitter hashtags over the past month, we discovered they were overwhelmingly being used by men and not women. Across all the parties, male users seem to be using these hashtags far more often than female negative 75% of the political party tweets in Britain were from males, 25% female. There are limits to this kind of analysis, of course. Twitter uses an algorithm to work out what gender you are based on preferences you express, so there could be a significant margin of error. It may also be that Twitter users overall tend to be male, skewing the results, but we don't know for sure. Twitter was said it wasn't able to tell BBC Trending how many users in the UK are male or female. But overall, why don't as many women as men talk party politics on Twitter? The aggressive tone of some Twitter debate and trolling of people for their political views may be something to do with it. Laura Bates who runs the Everyday Sexism Project told BBC Trending that they regularly receive examples of women being threatened with rape or violent assault as a result of expressing their political opinions online. Women are being cut out of the political debate because they do not feel safe posting their political views online, she says. When I visit schools and speak to young children, they tell me that the trolling and abuse they see directed especially at female MPs puts them off pursuing a career in politics or even offering a political opinion, Twitter told BBC Trending that it's trying to encourage a greater diversity of opinions, but that it relied on users to report trolls. Are other social media networks any different? The Liberal Democrats told us they had more female followers on Facebook. Women seem to prefer Facebook where it is less aggressive, they said. On our Facebook page more women follow us. As BBC Trending has previously reported, much of the discussion about the general election is taking place on Facebook, where there have been more than 21 interactions on the subject but Facebook told us a male-slash-female breakdown was not available.